as much as I love creativity, it's also a monster. It keeps you awake at night. It drives you totally bat crazy in your workplace because everybody wants something from you and you're going, ah, yeah, ah, 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 and you got to pull it from your butt. And how do you do that? Creativity. It's an addiction. We love it. We hate it. We need it. We crave it. And then we just want to throw it away. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I'm just sitting here looking at this daily writing. Have you ever studied the way that you put words into play? Not necessarily in what you're thinking or what you what you put into, like, you know, the, the thought on the page, but rather the flow of the writing. There's flow in the way that, you know, I, I, I work with somebody who was not taught how to cursive write. And so that's her goal uh, this this year is, is to learn how to do that. And so I sit here staring at the flow of how I put words on a page. And, and it really is, there, there's a musical value to it. But at the same time, it's like, wow, a painting of such where I can step into it envision what the author is is thinking and come back out with something and maybe i'm just being weird today is is that being weird but i love flow and 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 the thing is is that when when i see other people's writing i'll do the same thing i'll get lost in how they are putting words together what the flow of the thought is because you know you don't just put down one word you you, you'll you'll do you'll do a sentence maybe several sentences in a row but there's just something about the way that a page when it's filled with words that have been handwritten oh my god it just it just gets inside my heart and tickles it it really does <laughs> hey it's arrow this is the choice this is what i was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day and today's date is march 10th 2022 yawning this morning oh for god's sakes i have been yawning this morning i feel like a lion roaring <laughs> You know, they say the yawn is the most contagious thing on the planet. I agree with that. I mean, these are very deep yawns. A transition becoming, a full day awaits to be activated. You know, it's one of those things I've got to do, and that is to make myself available. Every day when I wake up, I have to be available. And here I am. Now what? <laughs> And I'm always looking at the clock because it serves as my borderline. This is where we are, and this is how much time you have left, which is very difficult to deal with in a world of timeless change. I I always see yawning as the mind trying to escape, to break free of, to find a newer area of thought and experience, the shedding of the skin like a snake. So many say it's to get more oxygen in the lungs, therefore let it be fuel. But at the price of today's modern America, so much is going on in the world that modern day fuel is, is, is hitting record breaking numbers. But, but let's think about this. Might the yawning be a mind shouting, come on. I sit here shaking my head. I didn't start this battle. Why do I feel like I am the one to blame? I don't know where and what you're doing right now in the world that you have been blessed to be a part of. But here in March of 2022, every day we're reading about Russia attacking Ukraine. And so is the yawning me trying to shed this skin so I can get on with with what we're supposed to be doing in an everyday world? I mean, for two years, March of 2020, up until 2022, we've been dealing with COVID-19. And what did I read last night? There's another variant on the way. Isn't that crazy? You know, it's it's one of the things that that we deal with naturally, yawning, putting air in our lungs, roaring like a lion, trying to escape the presence of where we are in our present. I always feel like that yawning is the mind's way of saying, can we meditate? Can we go to a place where I don't have to deal with so much weight? I don't want to do a wait and see I just want to get rid of the weight that you have seen. It's difficult to deal in a world of timeless change. I always see yawning as the mind trying to escape, to break free of, to find a newer area of thought and experience. What does yawning mean to you? When you get to work and all of a sudden you find yourself just stretching. And here comes that yawn. (sighs) 
Is it a newer you? I see dogs doing it all the time. They always do the, you know, the, the dog bow where they put their, their 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 paws down on the ground and their butts high in the air and they do that big long stretch and they open their mouth and they're yawning. The importance of the yawn to get new life planted inside the soils of self. Don't deny yourself the yawn. Allow it to become what it is that you are to be. And so, dot, dot, dot. That used to be my crutch in my daily writing. When I didn't know what to think, I would say, and so, dot, dot, dot. The writer's yawn. Where you sit there and you say, something must be put on this page. What will I grow with and from? Dot, dot, dot. Your yawn. What does it sound like? Do you make noise? I do. I love it. Because it clears my everything. It allows my body to, you know, and I think it might be something that I picked up in martial arts. Because we have to do the key up. The key up. Ha! Ha! Because it brings out the energy. And maybe that's what the yawn is. Is that as we bring in all of that air. There's energy in your presence of now. I'm Aram, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.